Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Problems are a sign of life. How we deal with those problems reflects the quality of our lives. And as human beings, we will experience problems. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has also blessed us with this concept of sabr and patience. And I don't want to sound all cheesy and say, you know, just have patience, do, do sabr. What does it really mean? And there's different types of patience that the ulama talk about. You have the sense of patience that you, are, you, you want to refrain from committing sin, right? You can get up to no good. You can be in an illicit haram relationship. And the fact that you choose not to because you're exercising patience and suppressing your ego and your nafs for the sake of Allah, that's a form of patience. Maybe you're in a relationship with your spouse and they really annoy you sometimes and you feel emotionally unstable. But for the sake of God, you control your tongue. Those people who can swallow their anger and forgive people for their ignorance, that's a form of patience too. So it's important that how we kind of deal with some of these challenges. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about particular prophets within the Quran. There are thousands of prophets that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent. But he talks about the Ulul Azm, the five special prophets, the likes of Nuh alayhi salam, the likes of Isa alayhi salam, Ibrahim alayhi salam, Musa alayhi salam, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi salam. What made these prophets so special compared to the rest is that they went through so much rejection, so many challenges, so much tribulations and trials. But they found their strength through God, what I like to call spiritual intelligence. So it's important sometimes that, you know, we just kind of take stock of ourselves. When we come overburdened with life, Life, it, like, we have problems. If this world was free from problems, then it would be paradise. And that's for the hereafter. So whatever we may go through, we ask God for strength. We ask for our emotional stability. We ask that whatever we may engage in or any actions that may, in a sense, get us angry, that we're able to be in control of how we feel and that we don't harm other people, inshallah.